Hello, this is the first in a series of tutorials about Python. I'm using Blender as a development environment, but uh, what I'm going to teach is going to be applicable to uh, Python in general. So anyone who wants to learn Python can do so uh, using these tutorials. Um, they're going to be fairly introductory, but they should move quite quickly, so that should be fun. Uh, uh, first thing to do is to come down to this icon and click on it and choose from the list the text editor. Uh, then you need to create uh, a new text file just by clicking on the new button here. And I'm just going to rename it to tutorial1. Uh, next thing, I'm just going to click on these three buttons here. First one turns on uh, line numbering, the second one turns on line wrapping. So if we type a line that's too long for the screen, it just wraps. Wrap wraps back to the beginning of the next line and the third one turns on syntax highlighting uh, that just colors parts of our script and that just makes it easier to read uh, the first thing to learn about is, um, is variables uh, a variable is a place to store a place that you can store a piece of information it's also the name that you use to refer to that piece of information uh, I'm just going to create a new variable by making up a name for our, this variable. It could be anything. I'll call it variable one. I'm going to set it equal to the value uh, one. Uh, you use the equal sign to assign a value to a variable. Um, the type of this value here is uh, an integer. Uh, that just means that it can hold um, whole numbers. It can take on uh, whole number values, so 1, 0, minus 1, 5053, uh, whole numbers, stuff like that. Uh, the next type of variable, I'm just going to create a new variable here called variable 2. I'm going to set this one equal to 2.2. Uh, Again, it's a number, but uh, this time it is a floating point uh, value because it has this decimal place in it. Uh, that means it can hold fractional numbers like 2.2, uh, 3.14, minus 10.5, 1,052.623, stuff like that. Any fractional number. Uh, the well, um, you can do uh, maths with uh, both of these uh, types of variable with both integers and floating point uh, values. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to assign the result of this little bit of maths I'm going to do. I'm going to assign the result back to variable 1. So I'm going to uh, do the usual thing with the equal sign and uh, I'm going to type variable 1 oops, plus variable 2. So I'm taking the original value of variable 1, adding uh, the value of variable 2 to that, uh, and then I'm assigning the result, uh, I'm assigning that back to uh, variable 1. Uh, so let's, let's look at this, variable 1 is 1, variable 2 is 2.2, .2. so 1 plus 2.2 .2 is 3.2, .2. so the value 3.2 which is the result of this maths operation here is getting assigned to variable 1 so at the beginning of the script uh, variable 1 equals 1 uh, at, at this point after the assignment uh, variable 1 equals 3.2 it's interesting to note that that actually changes the type of variable 1 uh, up here it's an integer uh, and down here it, it equals 3.2 which is uh, a floating point value a fractional number uh, Python allows that, that's fine, no problem, uh, but it's a good idea to keep track uh, of, um, of of when that's happening in your script. Uh, so uh, look out for moments when you change the type of a variable, that's just something to keep, keep an eye on. Uh, but as long as you're aware of it, that's fine. The next type of variable, I'm just going to create another variable, this line called variable 3, I'm going to set it equal to uh, the text value, otherwise known as a string value 3. And so this is a string value and it means uh, it contains the, te 
some text and this one contains the text 3 and you tell Python that you want to create a string value by typing uh, a quotation mark followed by the text that you want to be assigned to your variable and uh, you finish with a closing quotation mark so now variable 3 contains the text 3 um, the next type of variable uh, I'm going to create another variable called variable 4 I'm going to set it equal to uh, a list this time and this list will contain uh, the integer 1 the floating point value 2.2 and the string value 3 uh, you can see that uh, in the same way that uh, you tell Python that you want to create a string value by typing an opening and a closing quotation mark uh, surrounding your, your text you tell Python that you want to create a list by uh, typing an opening and a closing square bracket uh, around your list value uh, around the values that you want to be uh, placed into your list uh, so this list contains three values and they're separated by commas uh, you could place as many items as you wanted into your list by keeping on adding commas uh, so a comma and then your value and a comma another value and so on so you could do have as many items as you wanted in your list you can also see that uh, this list contains different types of value uh, this one's an integer this one's a floating point and this one's a string python allows that uh, it's very flexible uh, so that's that's really nice. You could also have had um, all integers or in this list, or we could all have all floating point values or all strings in your list if you wanted to. Um, uh, to access uh, a value from a list, you type the uh, name of the list variable immediately followed by the square brackets uh, and an in and uh, an index and then the closing square bracket uh, now I've just typed the, the value I've just typed 0 as the index that, that might be a bit surprising but in in programming it's very normal because uh, indices for items in lists begin with uh, the index 0 so the first item in the list has index 0 the second item in the list has index 1 and the third item in the list has index 2 that's because uh, you're actually counting offsets from the first item so the first item has an offset of 0 from the first item because it is the first item the second item has an index of sorry the second item has an offset of 1 from the first item so that's 0 1 uh, and the third item has an in, has an offset of 2 from the first item so that's 0 1 2 so here i am referencing the first item in the list which is the integer 1 if i wanted to access the second item i'd type uh, 1 uh, and that would reference the floating point value 2.2 and if i wanted to reference the third item in the list i'd type 2 here as the index and that would um, reference the string value 3. Um, uh, I'm accessing the value here but I'm not actually doing anything with it. Uh, but I can change that just by assigning it to a new variable. So I'm going to type variable 5 to create a new variable and then set it equal to uh, the value uh, with index 2 from the list named variable 4 so look for variable 4 and then the uh, item with index 2 in this list is the third item which is the text value 3 so variable 5 here uh, is equal to uh, the text value or the string value 3 there are some other uh, variable types in Python, but these are some of the most useful ones, and there are certainly plenty uh, so that we can move quickly on to more advanced topics, which we're going to do in the next tutorial, uh, which will be about functions. Uh, if there was anything in this tutorial that you didn't understand, then I'd say don't worry, and keep going with the next tutorial, because there will be plenty more examples of how everything uh, with variables works.
So thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.